Let's look at how a flat plane mirror works uh, for seeing your reflection and try to understand why, whether I stand close or far from a mirror, it doesn't affect how much of my body I'm able to see. So here's a little stick person and a flat plane mirror hanging on the wall. And I'm using a little red dot here to indicate where on the mirror I'm looking at. So if I'm looking straight out at eye level, then light from my eyes goes out to the mirror, hits the mirror, reflects back, and I see my eyes or my face. If I look a little bit lower on the mirror, in this case it's light from just below my chin that comes up, hits the mirror, and reflects back at an angle to go into my eyes. There's of course uh, light from other parts of my body hitting the mirror, but they hit at different points on the mirror and at different angles. Uh, only this one uh, light ray is hitting at the right angle to go into my eyes. The lowest I can see on my body is if I look at the very bottom of the mirror, which in the case drawn, I see a little bit below my arms, is the light that reflects off the bottom of the mirror and into my eyes. So I would claim that for the mirror as drawn, I cannot see my feet. Let's look at what happens to the light that does come off my feet. Comes off my feet, hits the bottom of the mirror, reflects off, and it comes off at such a steep angle that it passes over my head. So even though there is light from my feet reflecting off the mirror, it reflects at such a steep angle that it passes over my head and I don't see this light. Thus, I do not see my feet. Well, what if I stand further from the mirror? Light comes off my feet, reflects off the mirror, and still passes over my head. If we compare the angles when I'm standing close and standing far, these angles are different. When I stand close, the light comes, bounces off the mirror at a steep angle and very quickly passes over my head. When I stand farther away, the light bounces off the mirror at a smaller angle, but has more time to rise up and get above my head before it gets back to my body. So in both cases, I cannot see my feet. If I do want to see my feet, what I'm going to need is a mirror whose bottom is about even with the center of my body. In this case, light comes off my feet, hits the bottom of the mirror, and bounces off at the correct angle to make it into my eyes, rather than passing over my head. If I'm far away, the same thing happens. So the if whether or not I'm able to see the bottom half of my body did not depend on how close or far I'm standing from this mirror. What, depended, what it depended on was how far down the bottom of the mirror comes. If I want to be able to see all the way down to my feet in my reflection, I need a mirror that comes at least down to my waist. Down to my waist or any lower and I will be able to see my feet. If the mirror stops above my waist, then the light from my feet will reflect off the mirror at too sharp of an angle and will pass over my head.